Hello, my name is Dr. David Bray, inaugural director at the Atlantic Council's Geotech Center. We have some really exciting news coming out of Europe. Europe is talking about the need for a transatlantic relationship with the United States, focusing on how we use technologies for good across both continents. I'm also joined by Julian Mueller Culler, who is the inaugural fellow at the Geotech Center as well. Thank you, David. Uh, exciting news indeed, but I would also uh, urge us to be cautious. You know, Europe is very proactive in order to try to reach out to the new administration to kind of set the tone because it fears of being put in a position where it actually has to choose with economic decoupling and tech cooperation, either from the Chinese or the American market. So I think this proactive approach really is a way for Europe to be part of the conversation and make clear that they don't want to be choosing sides yet at the same time, of course, remain in the transatlantic alliance with the new administration. And what's fascinating, Julian, is that this is coming on the heels of the last decade being actually what seemed to be increasing tension between Europe and the United States when it came to, say, privacy, data, how the data was being used, was it being used for surveillance or not, general data protection regulation. So it seems to be an opportunity to work together. And I, and I hear what you're saying also about, you know, that this might be so that they're not told that they need to decouple. What I guess what I'd be interested in is, is as we look towards it, how 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 soon do you expect like the new administration and Europe to be working on this in 2021? Well, I think I would advise the new administration to pick it up really fast and kind of rebuild those alliances that have been existent for so long in order to leverage the strength of the transatlantic alliance. Yet at the same time, really kind of try to shift the narrative. You know, when we talk about big tech, when we talk about data and AI, it's often seen from an angle of great power competition. Um, and not so much with regards to smart partnerships, what we have been doing at the at the Geotech Center to really shift the narrative and think about the positive effects that might come with modern tech uh, and and artificial intelligence uh, and in order to to really focus on the benefits for humanity and p potential benefits for society. Agree with you wholeheartedly. And I know we've been advocating the need for smart partnership series uh, across multiple countries. Also thinking about how we can do data that's more inclusive with people, more, more participatory like data trust and things such as that. I think the other thing that's gonna be remain to be seen is how does US government respond with organizing itself? Does state take the lead on this? Is it more an uh, office of management and budget? So it'll be interesting to see how does US respond in terms of organizing building this sort of transatlantic approach to technology. So with that, I wanna thank everyone for joining us for this episode of Fast Thinking. Be bold, be brave, and be benevolent for the future ahead. I'll see you in the next one.